Hola clase. We're going to do some more review of what we went over yesterday. So how to conjugate Spanish verbs, make them match the pronoun. So if you look at, por favor, mira este lado. Lección 2, cuento 2.1. Uh, it says keep calm and conjugate verbs. I want to go over this with you together. And then the back side will be your assignment, but really fast. So as review, to conjugate a verb, we simply take off the old ending and add a new one. We're going to use hablar for an example. So you'd first remove the R, right? Make that a little bigger for you. So you're going to first remove the R. And then add in, add in the ending that we need, but who we're talking about. So here are the present tense endings for AR verbs. Again, we use them to say that someone, let's see, does... or is doing something. Does or is doing something. So we can fill in this chart. Take five seconds, see how much you can fill it in on your own before I help. Okay, so these obviously are not correct. For the yo, you want to have an O. For two, it's an S. Now remember he, she, you leave it B. So we erase the R at the end of that verb. And what's left is an A, so we're done. Nosotros for we, now we need three. So what we're going to add is an M-O-S. Y'all is going to be an I-S. Now it is on the test, but vosotros is very rarely used. Just remember it's going to end in an I-S, and you'll be able to pick it out of the matching group just fine. And for ellos, ellas and ustedes, it is going to be an N. Okay, pause here for questions. Moving on to hablar. So again, first we need to drop our ending, which gives us habla. All right, let's make that a little bigger for you, which means talk. And then we add our endings. So for let's skip yo for right now. Let's jump to two. All right, so for what we can do, we can do this for all of them. So they should all start with habla, 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 habla. And now we can make our change. So for the two form, right, we add an S. For he, she, oh, he, she, you leave it B, so we erased our R, right, there was an R there. We erased it, now we're done. So he, she, leave it B. Nosotros is we, we need three. Right, so M-O-S. Vosotros, you're going to add an I-S. Now technically this A has an accent on it. Oh, I don't want to go looking for it. It's just, it has an accent on it. But I mean, again, it's multiple choice on the test. Ellos, ellas, ustedes, you add an N to it. An N means they. Right? The MOS means we. The Just this vowel here, the A means he, she, or you formal. The S means you. So now come back up to yo. Okay, now this, yo is an exception, remember? So the two, there are two ways to think about this. You can either just do the normal rule and remember to change the A into an O for hablo. Or if you want, uh, you can think drop the A and the R, so you have H-A-B-L, and then add your O. Either way gets you there. Just whichever you think is going to stick in your head the best. Pause here for questions. Now, down here, we're going to practice a little bit on our own. You're going to want to underline the verb and circle the subject. I'm just going to make it bold. So, um, let's just do this together. You dance like Michael Jackson. Right? You is the subject. Dance is the verb. My mom works at McDonald's. Mom is the subject. Works is the verb. Number four, we is the subject. Walk is the verb. Here, y'all is the subject. Looking is the verb. Linda and Katie are the subject. And seeing is the verb. Whoops. So that's going to help you decide what pronoun you need to be able to conjugate the verb. 
So here, teaching. We need to know the Spanish word for teaching, for dance, works, walk, looking, and or looking for, and for sing. I'm going to pause here for about a minute. See if you can remember how, what these words are. I'm okay if you don't spell it right, uh, but if you know how to say the word, that's good enough. Right, so your words are enseñar. I know that's not capitalized, but bailar. Trabajar for works, caminar for walks, buscar is looking for, and cantar is to sing. So now we just need to translate the sentence. So I am teaching is yo enseño. That needs to insert simple. Yo enseño. Right? You dance. Tu bailas. It has an S at the end. Insert a song. My mom works, so she, right, she works, ella trabaja, he, she, leave it be, I dropped the R off, I was done. We walk to school, we is nosotros, walk, right, caminar, but I want to drop off that R, add my MOS for we, right, we need three. Y'all are looking for profe, that's vosotros, what you want is, you know, ya buscar, you're going to erase the R, and what do you need to add? Be an IS. Uh, again, that actually needs an accent. And then Linda and Katie sing well, so that's they, a yes, because all girls sing. Kanta, I've dropped the R off, but I still need to add the correct ending to match they, and that is an N. Pause here for questions. Now you guys are going to do this side. It went really fast in my other classes. Uh, basically, you're going to fill in the box here, and if you can't do it on your own, you can flip the page over. Now here, you're going to read about La Vida Linda de Roberta, the beautiful life of Roberta. You're going to conjugate the missing verbs that are in parentheses. Now the first one happens to be gustar, but we've worked with that a little bit. Just to help you out, a ella le gusta. Gusta. And here she likes to study. I wanted to start giving you a, a preview of how to use gustar, just so you can see it. So a ella le gusta estudiar. Ella studies at home. Oops. There you go. She studies at home. So ella, we're going to change that verb, right? We know to get the basic. We just drop the R where you have a studia. But then, oh, he, she, you leave it be, we're done. We don't have to do anything else to that. So that is part one. Part two is yo. So you're going to change this into the yo form. Now for the first one, it's so you have I am an interesting girl. I like being a good student. I like studying. But you're just going to focus on where there are these things. So let me put this back. So instead of she likes to study, you want I like to study. That's going to be yo, right? Yo. And then I know I dropped my R, which gives me a studia, and I have to change the A into an O. Yo estudio. That's for number one, for yo. Now part three is nosotros. Now you have a twin brother, and you like to do things together. So your pronoun is going to be right nosotros, or we. And then instead of, I guess we're on number two, Yo Studio. This one, because we haven't covered it yet, I'm just going to let you know it's Me Gusta. I like. So here, now this one, really tricky. So I'm just going to let you know, Nos Gusta, for we like. But your other pronoun is going to be Nosotros. Number two, a studio R, so we drop the R. We need three. We're gonna have a studio. Just do that for all of them. And that is what your assignment is. Pause here for questions.